Hey twins, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot and this is your Twin Flame reading. We're going to take a look and see what the energy looks like. So if you're on a twin flame journey, if you're dealing with your twin flame, this reading can certainly hit home for you. If it does, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload these readings. All right, so I usually use a mix of tarot and oracle cards for these readings to channel the messages. Um, of course, if you want a tarot reading for yourself, the information's in the description box. You can go to my Etsy shop or my main website. All right, let's take a look. Messages for the collective twin flames out there. Messages for the twin flames out there. All right, a card that flew out, consciousness. Um, a lot of you guys, you're coming, becoming aware, right? You're conscious, you're aware, you guys are evolving. A lot of you, you're more in tune, more in touch with yourself, with your spiritual side. And so this consciousness is you, okay? I feel a lot of you guys, you're embarking on a journey, a spiritual journey of some sort. And it feels to me like there's a lot of changes that are going on behind the scenes. And it feels like you're becoming more aware, more open, more... I would say more open to this whole um, journey that you're on, right? A lot of you are learning a lot about the twin flame journey and what it means to be with your twin flame and what it's going to require from you, what kind of work you're going to have to do, the inner work. And I'm feeling for your person on the other half, we have this uh, suppression energy. So while you're becoming more aware, more open, you're going toward the light. It feels like your person is um, not wanting to acknowledge something here. They're not wanting to acknowledge their feelings, their desires. Someone who is suppressing their feelings and thoughts is someone who is living in a, face, a place that's not real, right? They don't want to face reality. I feel like your person is trying not to deal with this connection. It may feel very uncomfortable for your person so with this suppression energy suppression it's getting me the energy of someone who doesn't want to be seen kind of like in the moon the moon energy in tarot is where someone is hiding right they're not disclosing themselves they're repressing themselves right repressing their feelings so i feel like this has been very difficult for your person to um come to terms with that this connection is real i feel like your person's been running away from it um, we have postponement. So there's an energy of like putting it off, right? I don't want to deal with it right now. So it's telling me that your person is not saying I never want to deal with it. It's just that right now it's not a good time. So there could be something about your person putting this connection off for later um, until a time where they're ready to deal with it. Because I feel like your person is looking into the horizon and they do see happiness, they see color, they see joy, they see vibrancy, they see an opportunity where, you know, it looks it looks pretty good. It looks like this is someone that could see you in their future, but right now they're just not wanting to admit to that. So you could be someone who's living in denial, living in denial of the truth, sharing, so for a lot of you guys, you could be dealing with someone who was, um, I'm getting a nine of cups energy, okay? Someone who was very, I'm getting overindulgent, right? They did things that they wanted to do. They didn't always think about how it would affect you. So for some of you, this is someone that may have been getting involved with other people. There were other opportunities, okay? This is someone that wanted to mix and mingle, right? Indulging and having fun and drinking a lot and entertainment and hanging out late. I get the sense that your person didn't know when to stop. So you could have been dealing with someone that did whatever they wanted to do and they may have sabotaged this connection because they were thinking about self, overindulging in self, right? And so I feel like there could be a lesson here regarding equal give and take, reciprocity, sharing, right? I feel like your person wasn't in a place to open up their life to you. I feel like it took a lot for this person to understand what it meant to be committed. You know, you may have felt like you were the only one that was invested, the only one that was showing up in the connection, the only one that was doing the work. And that could have been the case because there may have been some issues regarding reciprocity from what it looks like here. Slowing down. So I'm getting a very like a Taurus type of energy. Maybe you guys are dealing with an earth sign. Now there's something here where I'm getting, if they were going fast paced before, if they were constantly just 
doing things the way they were doing it, the way they wanted to do it. Now they're slowing down and having the time to think about how they came off. Because this slowing down energy is slowing down of time, uh, slowing down of their thought disposition. And I'm seeing the energy of like this, this downtime is allowing your person to see how they came off, right? You know, how they may have sabotaged the situation, how they may have not really put in their best foot. They didn't, they didn't really allow this to really take off. So I feel like the slowing down is your person maybe um, spending more time with themselves. I'm getting a like hermit, right? Things are slow. It's giving them time to really think, rehash, redo. Now we do have fighting going on. This is kind of like the five of wands or the five of swords. I do feel like your person at times feels chained up. They feel... As if like they're they're tied up in the situation here, like they're having to fight for their cause or fight for their rights. This fighting energy is a resistant energy. I'm getting your person is really trying hard to resist what this is, but it's like they have no fight, right? They have no real argument as to why they can't do this, why they can't come together. So there's there's definitely an inner fight. Your person wants to still be stubborn and be resistant, okay? Because there could be some fears. There could be um, an issue of being vulnerable. We have armor here. So your person could be wearing a whole bunch of armor, trying to protect themselves, not wanting to be seen, not wanting to reveal their innermost feelings and dark secrets and desires with regard to you. So I feel like you know your person is trying to protect themselves, trying to protect themselves from maybe being hurt. Maybe they were hurt in a past relationship or connection that weighs very heavily on them so i feel like your person's like angry but not angry at you they're angry at their past they're angry at who they become okay we have the full card okay this could be an aries for some of you guys you could be dealing with a fire sign now this full card is telling me that your person is wanting to take a leap of faith, right? They want to jump into the unknown. They want to take a risk with you. They wanting to jump and move forward. So they may not know what lies ahead, right? No one knows the full card, but we do see someone taking a risk. So there could be an opportunity where in the near future, your person is going to say, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to put myself out there. I don't know what's going to, um, what's going to happen here, but I'm willing to put myself out there. So we have the inner voice. We have the lovers and we have the isolation. Isolation. So with these cards, um, it looks like your person may be wanting to take that leap of faith forward because we have that inner voice. And the inner voice is the intuition. So I feel like your person's gonna get to a point in time where they're gonna want to start listening to those uh, to, to spirit talking, right? Their intuition, their higher self. They could be getting a lot of spiritual downloads, intuitive hits here. And it's going to be guiding them forward, guiding them toward a place of freedom. We have dolphins. Dolphins likes to be free and happy. So I feel like your person wants all those things. And they're realizing that they're having to listen now to their inner voice. And the inner voice isn't going to lead them astray. It's actually going to lead them back to this, what you, you and them had. So if a lot of you guys are willing to take a leap of faith and listen to that inner voice to stop fighting and resisting and holding back and having the need to protect themselves all the time right we have a leap of faith going toward the lovers so it feels like your person is going to be in the energy of being more understanding more open to this opportunity more open to this connection realizing that there is something divine about this connection right the lovers when two souls come together and creating this beautiful union this is what your person wants. And I feel like your person's going to be slowly opening up to that, right? Opening up to sharing and reciprocity, right? And we have this isolation energy. So for a lot of you guys, you could be dealing with maybe an air sign. Particularly, we have a Gemini with the lover's card. It could be an Aquarius or Libra. I feel like your person's going to get to a point in time where they're going to be tired of living by themselves or being by, um, by themselves on their own, feeling isolated, feeling deprived, feeling in this place of lack, right? The isolation is not a great energy. As you can see, this person's crying. So this person feels left alone. They feel abandoned. They feel um, at a loss, Okay, there's sadness here. And I think the sadness is really because they're missing something from their life. And they thought they'd be happier perhaps elsewhere. They thought they'd be happier on their own. But they're realizing that no, there's something terribly missing here. And this is not what I want anymore. 
So let's get some more messages for you guys. Um, like, your comment, and subscribe. All right. We have wishful expectations. It says, acknowledge the smoke and mirrors in your life for what they are. So I feel like your person is, um, you know, there's something that they're wishing for. We have like the wheel. It's kind of reminding me of the wheel of fortune. Your person wants positive movement, change, progression in their life. And I feel like they're now getting to a place where they're feeling stuck, right? They're feeling isolated. There's no love. There's no warmth. There's no support. And there's something that they're wishing for, right? There's there's wishful expectations. So this is like that nine of cups energy. And they've been pretending and suppressing their emotions and feelings. They've been pretending like they're okay but they're not and I feel like your person more than more than ever they want companionship they want love and so it says acknowledge the smoke the smoke and mirrors okay so they're acknowledging that yeah there's something here that's wrong right when there's smoke there's something wrong it's alerting you that something's wrong there's a fire there's something going on that you need to look into and now your person's becoming more aware right we have the mirror when you look at yourself in the mirror what do you see a reflection of yourself and for the longest time your person has not been able to see the reflection in themselves because of the smoke right because they've been they have not been able to put up put out the smoke, whatever that issue is, and there's been smoke fogging up their mirrors so they cannot see what was really going on. They cannot see the issue. They cannot even see themselves in the reflection. So we have the energy of acknowledging that there's smoke here and you got to put out the fire. You have to acknowledge that these mirrors you were looking, you were looking at, they were dirty. It, it was foggy. It was smoky. You cannot see things for what they really are. And now your person is doing that. They're seeing things for what they really are. We have the weeping wound. It says you are not your wound. So for a lot of you, your person has been holding on to childhood issues, um, trauma from their past, neglect, abandonment, feeling unloved, feeling undesired, feeling like they weren't good enough. And they've been carrying that with them. And they've been in denial of the effect it has had on their adult life, on their love life. And I'm seeing now... Spirit is saying you are not your wound. It's okay to cry. It's okay to weep, right? It's okay. But what you're having to not do is to say that you are literally your wound, right? You are a reflection of what has happened. Yes, it's it's shaped you. The experience has shaped you, but you are not your wound. And it's that's what exactly it's saying. So you can weep and cry about your past. You cannot change it. But what you can do is improve yourself, right? You can improve yourself. We have trusting tricksters. It says the trickster's only power is your trust. You are always free to withdraw it. So for some of you, you got tricked by this person. Okay, you were innocent. I feel like for a lot of you, because we have this little fox. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, you didn't see that this person was playing a trick on you. They were trying to deceive you. They were trying to manipulate you. And for the longest, you guys, you trusted your person until you decided, you know what? I can no longer keep you around me because you're not good for me. You're not for my highest and greatest good. And I need to withdraw my energy. I need to protect myself. So for a lot of you guys, you were being suffocated. You were being tricked by your person because they perhaps have been tricked by someone else in the past. So we have um, the trickster's only power is your trust. So if you give your person that power... If you continue to trust them, you're giving them power over you. You're giving them power over you to take, take, take until you say no more. And you cut that cord. And that's what a lot of you guys have done. You see this vine from the flower? It may look pretty, right? But look what it's doing. It's wrapping her arm. So it, it's been, this person has been literally suffocating you, okay? All right. Um, we also have forgiveness. Some of you guys, you are practicing forgiveness. Your person is also maybe practicing the same thing. It says, um, hurt blocks our light. So the hurt that you've gone through, the emotional pain you've gone through, it carries over. It's energy, right? And so for a lot of you, you're, you're being asked to forgive your person because that is going to release blocks to happiness. Light is happiness, freedom, joy, prosperity, so a lot of you are working on releasing these blockages 
by forgiving your person, saying, I know what you did to me, but it's okay. I will not take it personal. I will let it go. I'm freeing myself. And that could be literally what you're having to tell yourself. We have radical honesty. To believe in the facade is to suffocate in the armor of alienation, self-defeat, and self-denial. So, yeah, this is about someone being honest, being upfront, being truthful. Again, I'm seeing armor. So someone here was wearing a, a lot of armor to protect themselves. They wanted to, I'm getting guarded, very guarded energy here. And for a lot of you guys, that's your person. They couldn't be honest with you because, well, they had to protect themselves. They had to keep you at a distance, right? They, they wanted to isolate themselves from you because, you know, you made them feel very vulnerable and that made them afraid. It was scary. So this person is um, in the energy of self-denial self-defeat they're only hurting themselves by doing this and what spirit is working with them to do is to be honest okay radical honesty we have melting mass it says allow your spirit self to shine through the many roles you fulfill it looks like your person has um, definitely been wearing a mask and what that what it looks like to me is that that mask is coming off right the mask is melting right off because spirit is working with your person and saying that you don't have to be that person you were in the past. You don't have to be angry. You don't have to be that manipulative person. You don't have to be that cheater or that liar. You can change. So spirit is showing your person a way on how to move away from that person that in the past they once were. How to dissociate themselves from that person. How to detach and not feel that that baggage from being that person that they don't want to be anymore so spirit is working with your person to shine light through that to allow them to see it but say you know what you have a choice you don't have to be that person anymore so your person has played many roles right they've been that romantic lover to you but they also were that cheater that liar they they can let go of some roles they don't have to be always um holding on to things that they don't want for themselves don't hold on to which that does not serve you so that is what I'm seeing. That is the biggest energy here. Um, let's jump in and get some more messages. This is from the Island Time Wellness. If this reading resonates, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe, you guys. All right. Any more messages? We have the axe. It says breakup, separation, stopping the pattern of abandonment, silent treatment. So it looks like your person axed you out of their life. Why? Well, because they perhaps have been abandoned before, childhood, upbringing, last relationship. And I feel like your person did it in a very abrupt way. I'm seeing the silent treatment. So your person could have literally went ice cold on you and ghosted you. And it's, the real reason is because there's a pattern. There's a pattern of behavior that your person has seen and now they're doing and now they're repeating. Literally press uh, stop and then repeat, right? Press press play, repeat. So that's what I'm seeing. I'm getting the energy of your person has seen a certain behavior of abandonment, of neglect, of silent treatment, ghosting, whatever it is. They learned this behavior from somewhere. They've seen it. It made them feel awful and they decided, you know what, I'm going to do the same way because that's a way that I can get out of this. And I don't have to own up. I don't have to be vulnerable. I don't have to show feelings. So I think your person literally asked you out of their life because they were not first aware, conscious. A lot of you guys are very aware of other people's feelings. You, you show empathy. You feel empathy for others and your person didn't feel that. So that allowed them to do that to you. All right, let's see. We have the coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. So now your person is wanting to go from, I'm getting this place of darkness to light. They're wanting to put an end, put a rest to things, again, that don't serve them. End to recklessness, end to toxic behavior and patterns and ways of thinking that don't serve them. Rest in peace. Let it go. Put it in the coffin and bury it. So your person is wanting to change. They're wanting to literally put something to the end. Death in tarot is ending transformations. But this ending is literally giving them opportunity to do, do deep, deep inner work and transform their way of thinking, the way they operate, the way they love. Um, so I'm seeing a lot of good energy. Liberation. Freeing themselves from an old energy, from something they no longer want to be, right? We have heart with a key. So this talks about welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together the perfect 
union. So I feel like your person is now realizing you were the key to their heart, right? They didn't know it back then. But what your person now is wanting to do is experience the love that you wanted them to have, the love that you offered them on the platter. I feel like your person is now acknowledging that you were the one. You were the one. You were their person. And now they're wanting to open up their heart chakra. There's healing taking place. They want to have a reunion. They want to get together like old times. And they realize that you were perfect for them. There's no one out there that is more perfect than you. We also have kisses. <laughs> so this is definitely speaking about this person wanting to fall in love, wanting to be more in touch with their emotional side, wanting to practice the sharing of equal give and take, reciprocity, um, um, opening up their heart fully, supporting each other through this. And, you know, I think this person, honestly, they want to fall in love again. They want to experience what they perhaps were being offered before, but they weren't ready for. And that's the biggest difference, right? The timing. The timing wasn't right. Your person wasn't in a place of being aware, being conscious. Um, and so we have a lot of changes that are taking place. Beautiful energy, you guys. If this reading resonates, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. I also have other readings, tarot readings for all the zodiac signs on my main channel, Cult Serendipity Tarot. So be sure to check that one out too. All right, you guys, take care.